Hi, I'm very excited to、um, share with you my、um, newest fragrance, which is、um, the Baccarat Rouge Five Four Zero, or、um, some people say Baccarat Rouge. So,、um, however you say it, I think both of them are acceptable, and it's. By Mason Francis Cardigian, and um, this um, uh, person, uh, Francis Cardigian, he's called a nose because the people who are、um, so adept in perfumes, they're called, and those perfumers, those who make them, they are called、um, the noses. And this nose, Francis Cardigian, is actually one of the top three perfumers. Or noses in the world, so I'm suddenly getting into、uh, perfumes now that、uh, my sense of smell is slowly coming back. <laughs> And、um, yeah, so I've been trying out new things. Actually, this was an accident. I mean,、uh, I didn't go to. I, I don't go to、um, the mall to.、Um, sniff these things out. It, it just happened accidentally because.、Um, I was cleaning out my closet, and then I found this bag of、um, samples, perfume samples. And、um, this bag of perfume samples was actually given to me by Neiman Neiman Marcus when I、um, I think I I bought the Jo Malone. I think、uh, two years ago, and so this has been tucked away in my、uh, plastic drawer for a long time. And then I was cleaning cleaning up one day. So I took everything from the drawer out, and then、um, I saw this, and I said, "Hmm, okay, let me just try spraying this." I plan to just、um, like put them away or give them to somebody or just toss them in the trash. But then I said, "Okay, it might be worth you know trying." So I said, "So I tried one of those." So this was inside. So I tried one of these before I went to bed, and I was like, it was really, really. Really, really good. It was magical, <laughs> or I don't know. I became suddenly nostalgic because this is、um, a sweet、um, smell.、Um, some people say that it has a cotton candy effect、um, smell, or a burnt sugar, caramelized sugar. But you know, let's not go into the base notes because I don't have my computer this time, and I know there. Uh, I think there's amber wood, there's vanilla or sandal wood or whatever you call it, call it on bergamot or whatever. They have、um, jasmine and cedar. So I don't know which one is which. Which one is the top note, the base note, or whatever you call it, bot bottom note. So, um, so I fell in love with this right away, and I said, hmm, this is really really good. So I just kept spraying this at night time and. It would really, really last, and、um, it would still be on my shirt. The smell would still be there, even if the hamper has been there for a long time. You know, when when I do my laundry, and I would smell my shirt, the dirty laundry, and I was like, hmm. So,、uh, so it has been fermenting already、uh, in the laundry for like five days, and the smell was was still there. It was still good. It's still fresh. So, so that's when I started to、um, Google this. And、um, and I was like,、hmm, so it's actually a niche perfume. I mean, it's an upscale perfume, not not a designer perfume, like、um, you know,、uh, the ordinary、uh, like Givenchy or or Dior or、um, things like that. So I was like, okay, let me check this out, and I was surprised because the the price was really really. You know, it's it's really really expensive. So,、uh, good thing I, <laughs> I I I sprayed that on because I will never know and you know until how how it would smell until you try it. So, okay, so I ordered this. I ordered this、um, before the Black Friday,、um, before Black Friday, and、um, I was hoping to get it like two days after or three days after. But this didn't come until、um, the week before Black Friday. This was ordered, but they attempted to deliver it to me like a week after, which is Black Friday, and we were somewhere else.
we were in Sarasota. So what happened was the UPS just left a note saying we'll be back on Tuesday. So if they came on a Friday, why would they suddenly, you know, decide to come back on a Tuesday? I mean, do delivery guys just decide whenever they want to come? Or I just don't understand because as early as um, Sunday, we were already back. So I was expecting this to be delivered on a Monday. But anyway, since it, it indicated Tuesday, I waited until Tuesday. And then it did come. And then the day after and then the day after. So I had to call uh, UPS like every single day. And they said that it was on hold for future delivery December 2. I was like, I don't even know. I mean, who, 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 whose idea was it? Because I did, not, um, I did not call UPS to instruct them that it has to be delivered at a certain date. So that's just puzzling to me. Now, what happened was, of course, I've been calling every single day. And then finally, um, Andy called up and then she, he was able to uh, contact the customer service. And that because I would normally get the recording that says, okay, your thingy is in transit or your thingy is uh, being um, held for future delivery and blah, blah, blah. That's what I, I didn't, I never understood that thing or I don't understand it until now. But anyway, uh, okay, where was I? <laughs> I'm just ranting because I was very, very, this, this perfume gave me a lot of stress anxiety and drama and at the same time this cost me cost me uh, an arm and a leg <laughs> so but anyway this was as i've told you on um, love at first spray and uh, and as you spray it more and more you'd fall in love more and more so it's just one of those fragrances that's not ordinary it's like when you go places and smell people you know they just smell ordinary because the people are wearing probably the same perfume so it's like a generic perfume but this is like um it's it, you know it, it's something different it, it, it's in a different level of, of course for the price you're paying it has to be but anyway so um so that's when i started googling about this um this fragrance and um some people are taken aback or they're disappointed because of the price, but some people um, nonetheless are still, uh, you know, they would still uh, pay the price uh, because they, they love the scent. But anyway, going back to that, so they had to call um, the shop where I purchased this from online to tell them that this was, um, when, I call, when Andy called them up, they promised to give us a call uh an hour after but nobody called so then the more next day i called them up to follow up on this i mean we're talking about ups this time and then they called me that it's lost in transit so i was really <laughs> really really disappointed and so they said that they were going to um uh notify on the shop online website where i got this from that it was lost and and i also called them up and i told them that it has been lost in transit and then they did uh, receive the request to open an investigation for eight days this shop promised me that it would be returned to me or it would be resolved on the eighth day no matter what whether they find it or not it has to be replaced or it, i mean it's my call either replaced or refund uh initially i was just I just wanted them to give my money back. I said, okay, just give me the refund right away because I could just go to Neiman Marcus and get this, you know, instantly. You know, I was just, I was, uh, I was too excited to uh, receive this and then it didn't come at the right time. That's why I was like, I wasn't interested anymore because I couldn't wait any longer. And then what happened was, okay, UPS calls me again and tells me that there's no point waiting because I don't have the package yet. So they will resolve this uh, even before eight days. And then they'll just ask them to give me my money back. Okay, so, and I thought UPS already had told, told the, the website about this, the shop. I called the shop the next day and they said uh, they didn't receive any call from UPS. And then they have to, they have to open another investigation, which will be like another eight days. So I said, from the time I ordered this, 
it would be like one month already on the 15th so i was really really upset at this point so although the customer service was very gracious for this company uh i i wasn't happy at all i've worked in customer service but eight days plus plus eight days and then what and then i said are you gonna open because they said the first claim because they told me that the first claim did not uh cover or did not they did not include the contents i mean that's just stupid if you file a claim for 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 a lost package of course you would know what, what the contents are because you have to declare it right and that is just really really stupid and oh, uh, this so i said okay i'm just gonna give up so it, it's just too much you know it was just very very exhausting but anyway i told them okay fine you can just send me the replacement because i really really want it back but they said oh, we can't give you a replacement we have to we have to wait for another eight days so i said okay you know what i'm not interested anymore <laughs> okay so okay it was just back and forth back and forth um I was supposed to have this uh, even before Black Friday and now it's already December what? Uh, it's like December 8th already. So, oh, so it's just exhausting. And I'm telling you, I've exhausted all my resources calling them each day. And I hate calling people. I, I, I even hate calling doctors to make appointments because they would ask you a lot of questions, insurance number, blah, blah, group number, blah, blah, blah. I don't have the patience to do all that. Although I've worked in customer service all my life, but I don't know. I don't have the patience to do that anymore. Ties have changed, okay? So, so, uh, okay, so there. But anyway, here's the bottle. That's just my rant. And then this afternoon, just when I gave up calling them, <laughs> the, the UPS uh, was parked right in front of the, uh, of, of the house. And then... um suddenly they knocked and said okay and then they had a paper with them blah 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 so they they found it so that was really stupid but anyway i have it i have it i got it so i'm good because i was gonna let ask them to just refund the money and i'll just go to there are only two online retailers that carry this uh, uh baccarat rouge um bergdorf and Neiman's so those are the only two places I could go there's a there's a Neiman here um in Fort Lauderdale which is closer or I could go to Boca Raton um because they have everything there. they have Neiman Bloomingdale Saks Fifth and Bergdorf's okay so uh, oh shoot do they have a Bergdorf oh no they have Lord and Taylor I'm sorry oh, God, we don't have a Bergdorf here I don't know. Okay, I, I'm not sure. Okay, but anyway, here it is. Uh, okay, so this is the bottle. So there's actually um a history behind the bottle. Uh, this is but oh, I just have bits and pieces of information. So if you're interested, you can just Google that. And um, uh, five four zero apparently is the temperature where they heat up uh, to make a, a crystal. So this is a Baccarat glass or something. I don't know, something like that. And <laughs> the first version of this one came out like a few years ago. Um, but they only made limited edition. Like they only had how many bottles um, produced. And it was very, very expensive. It was like more than... how, how much? These were thousands of dollars when they, fir they first came out because it was a limited edition they only had like a number of bottles and then i think um i think because of the popularity so maison um i mean francis Corrigian um made it uh, into his staple so he brought it back and um i'm glad he did because i had you know i have the opportunity we all have the opportunity to um uh, you know taste it and smell it so longevity on this one is really really good um this is actually a unisex perfume but honestly i wouldn't want any guy smelling sweeter than i am because this is a sweet <laughs> this is more feminine but the reviews on youtube there are a lot of guys who are who are so in love with this and they do um actually um use this so so Oh, it's it's such a, a very very good fragrance. Um, I actually 
put the sample inside the, my, my sunglass case and it stayed there for a week and then I took the sample out and then I, I could still smell, I it could still smell this um of the trait because of the traces of the sample it was a small tube and you could still smell this even after a week and after you know closing closing the box in and out for like how many times it's just just very very impressive so it's a smell like no other i can't compare this to anything else oh probably um i would this was a bit nostalgic because um it smelled like sugar cane freshly pressed sugar cane and then there's a big cauldron uh with a fire underneath of course and it's being you know cooked i mean uh and um the juice comes out of the uh, sugar cane and it's being um heated up and then the the, the the aroma the burnt sugar aroma or the caramelized aroma that's how i could um compared to some people compare it to cotton candy but mm, i don't know the pink cotton candy has uh i don't know but this is a sweet sweet this is a sweet smell so i'd like you to try this out and um this is like my my uh super super top wish list and um and I'm glad that I could, uh, I'm, I'm open to um, new scents again and fragrances. So I'm not just into Jo Malone, but uh, I'm also, you know, into other fragrances as well. Like, uh, I'm in love with Narciso Rodriguez Boudre. So I love that. Although, uh, it triggers my allergies sometimes, but, I, but <laughs> I'm still using it because it's so good and so sweet. So there you go um so this is a 2.4 ounces they have they have the travel size they have this um 2.4 and they also have the big size which is six point something but that is way too expensive the biggest size is like what is it six hundred dollars or five hundred twenty five dollars if i'm not mistaken so so I am uh for those who love perfume and for for those who would you know like to smell different and not smell generic um this is for you <laughs> and you can wear this casual uh casual or at daytime it's not overwhelming but um the sillage is really 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 good longevity performance um the bottle is uh, really nice. Uh, it's not very, very, you know, it's not very fancy or impressive. But, of course, it's a Baccarat crystal. So, you know, it's uh, uh, the col collaboration between them. So, it, this is an Eau de Parfum. And they also have um, an X-Rate. An X-Rate costs $425, 2.4 ounces. So... Uh, basically the same size but an x-rate is um you know um i've been reading I i've been um buying books about well i only have two about perfumes and i've been learning a lot that of course the first year is a cologne it has um the least number of al least percentage of alcohol and then we, uh you you, you uh, step up to all the toilet and then you step up to uh, the parfum and then x straight is like um, has the uh, highest content of oil so yeah i like to smell different <laughs> so uh this is my take i love 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 this actually if uh i was torn between a refund and uh, and a replacement but uh I was going to uh, give them a, he a heads up and tell them to just uh, send me again. But anyway, um, I have this now. This is my Christmas, ultimate Christmas gift to myself. I wasn't very, very happy with that Moina bag. So uh, I, I returned it, by the way. And I'd rather buy something that is leather and it's you know, that screams <coughs> luxury. Not that plasticky thing. But anyway... 
So that's just my take. So I am so in love with this, and、um, I think I'm going to purchase their travel size as well. So it's just slightly. I mean, I mean. Slightly cheaper, but you know, at least I can take it with me because I can't take this with me, and yeah. So there, but perfumes actually their their longevity. I mean, the duration. I mean,、uh, the perfumes when you don't use them、uh, within three years they go bad. So、uh, I I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'd be spraying this like crazy. But of course, I have to you know, I have to wear this on special occasions, I guess. But There are no special occasions for me. I wear them to bed. That's my special occasion. I I wear perfumes to bed. Okay, so there you go. Bye.